What's going on guys? I'm Simple Simon and today I'm going to be unboxing an AOK. Today's AOK is from the legendary Stone Cold Steve Whiting. So I know what's inside this box. The contents inside this box are like grails, ladders, chairs, oh my. Give us a like if you uh, get that reference. Before I open the box though, I just want to give a little background. For those who don't know Steve, um, because I think a lot of the people like newer channels and people who are like part of that whole COVID generation, you might not know who Stone Cold Steve Whiting is. There's heaps of people that obviously uh, are very generous in the community and send out AOKs all the time. Steve has a reputation for uh, AOKing you your grails. I guess my knowledge on Steve is uh, I remember back in the day, I used to watch, uh, he doesn't have his own channel, but he hangs out a lot with uh, Stay Path and Jeff the Kennedy's comic kid. Um, I used to watch vlogs of theirs. I think it was Stay Puff used to film a lot of vlogs where those guys would all go out uh, comic hunting. Um, Highlay, a comic bro, would, uh, would often be there. Uh, and they would just go to comic shops and hunt. And it was really cool. I used to really enjoy watching those videos. And that's how I discovered Steve Whiting. He was very known for just, in those videos you'd see, he'd just come up and show a book uh, that to one of the guys and the guys were like, oh, that's like my grail or I've been after that and Steve would be like, yeah, I just bought it for you. Uh, th that's just the kind of guy he is. Um, so just super generous. I remember um, seeing a video a little while back where uh, he met John's comics with kids uh, and he just came up to him and was like, I got this for you and John's mind was just like, Phew. it was some, I can't remember what the book was. I think it was maybe like a really, really early, early numbered X-Men book. And uh, Jeff, the Kennedy's comic kid, uh, you guys who know him know he's a massive Vampirella fan. Um, Steve AOK'd him, I believe, the first ever Vampirella, which is funny because after that, um, I think the next 100 videos that Jeff posted, he always found an excuse to show off his Vampirella one. The, the funny thing is, I've rarely interacted with Steve in my time in the community. Um, obviously, he doesn't have a channel for me to comment on his videos or anything like that. Um, I remember, for memory, I feel like it's only maybe once or maybe twice uh, I've been on a live stream with him. Um, I remember being on a stream a long, long time ago with guys like Stay Puff. I know Sanimation was there. I think G-Man, the comic book G-Spot was there and Steve being part of this group and it was just a hangout. What I'm getting at is I've only interacted with the dude maybe once or twice in my time in the community. What I'm saying is I, I hardly know Steve. I, I know he helped out when uh, I tried to organize a whole bunch of us to help Super Us. When Super Russ's TV broke down, I know Steve was like jumping at the bit to get involved uh, in obviously um, getting involved in us helping Russ get another TV. Anytime you need anything, you get a hold of us. The community loves you. But uh, yeah, I, I barely know Steve. Uh, and that's what I'm trying to say is the guy reached out to me after, um, I think he saw one of our videos, one of my videos or somewhere, he heard I was talking about a certain book and he was like, hey, um, I'll hunt for that book next time I'm hunting. And I'm like, oh, don't, it's an expensive book, man. Like, I'm probably can't, not something I can afford. And he's like, don't worry, I know people. I'll, I'll get I'll get a good deal on it, right? And then he hits me up, I don't know how long later, and he's like, I got that book for you. I was like, uh, okay. I felt really weird, because like, it's, it's an expensive book. But I, I was, couldn't believe that he did that. Um, and then he's like, is there anything else you want? And I was like, what are you doing to me, right? And I did mention, I was like, well, I've been chasing this book. Uh, if you find it for a good price, let me know, and I'll see if I can, you know, afford it. But of course, Steve being Steve is like, got you that book. I was like, please let me send you money for the book or to at least ship it here. He's like, no way. Give me your address, uh, I'll get it to you. I, I just can't believe the gesture from the guy. Maybe this is a joke. I mean, maybe I opened an empty box right now because uh, it's just, I, I just can't believe that he got me these books. So uh, I'll open it. I'll stop wasting time and I'll open it. We're going to go with some old school, simple Simon magic. Stanley knife, boom, Stanley knife. I'm surprised the book he got me actually fit in this in this box. That might actually give it away. <laughs> uh, I believe there's two books in here. One of them, the first book he got me, I've seen it maybe once while here locally. I think it was going for about $450 maybe. That was, this is a guess price of what I think I saw it at, at a comic fair. And it's not, uh, I've said many times in my videos, I anything over $200 for a book, um, 
probably not gonna get it, you know? <laughs> uh, it's actually a treasury size book too, so there's another hint of what it might be. Very well packaged. Oh, he's got a note. I'm definitely gonna read that. Oh, shit. Okay. All right, this is unexpected. Simon, here are a few books for you. Hope you enjoy them. From Russ, G-Man, Puff, Jeff, Brian, all helped. Uh, they all help. So thank you to, to those guys. Thank you so much. Um, I'm going to leave a link to all their channels in the description below. Hope to meet you one day if you ever make it to the States. Hopefully, mate. We will keep a lookout for other books you're hunting. Keep up the great work and positivity in, your, in the comic book community. Your friend, Stone Cold Steve. P.S. The G-Man did the packaging. Pack, uh, did the packing mailing. Okay. All right. So G-Man is the uh, expert packaging guy here. All right. So, all right. That's we're gonna have more than just two books in here. Then I guess. All right. I'm gonna start this way because I already saw one of the books. So I'm gonna start with one of the books that uh, this is the book that started it all. Uh, I, I don't know when I was talking about it. It might have been with Super Rust Man because I know Steve jumps into the chat there sometimes. Um, I mentioned that I wanted this book. Oh, it was a book that I would like to have. But it was a book that I probably would never get because of how expensive it is. And Steve was like, I got you. Fuck. Holy shit. I've never held it before. Holy shit. Uh, if you've guessed it already, yes, you're probably correct. It is the Superman versus Muhammad Ali Treasury Edition book. Um, this is obviously a legendary book. Uh, I have no idea where I'm going to store it, but my goodness, I'm going to need to. Uh, oh, yeah. Smell it through the bag, baby. Smell through the bag, baby. Wow, that is so sick. That was the book that kind of started all of this. Um, that Steve reached out about and he was like, I got you. But yeah, this is, this is an expensive book down here in Australia. Um, and yeah, just something I, ne I never thought I'd have this book. It looks in pretty good nick too, so I can probably, I won't do it now, but I probably will actually uh, go through this. I'm terrified of opening, you know, books like this. All right, so this feels like Milo in this one. Oh, ho, ho, ho! all right, this is the other book that Steve sorted for me. Um, this is one that I've been hunting for a long time. Um, this was the year I really wanted to get it. I, I really tried. I put a lot of bids on eBay and things and I was just never able to secure it. I got it. I finally have this book. I cannot believe it. This is Planet Comics issue one. The classic Dave Stevens cover. Uh, dude, I don't know what to say. Like, I, I didn't know what to say to Steve because we obviously messaged back and forth a lot uh, when he, once he was like getting ready to post this package and I was like, I don't know what to say to you, dude, because like, I just cannot believe you went out of your way to get me two grails of mine. So, man, I, I can't believe I have it in my collection. And it's a nice copy too. So the weird thing about this is, I might have to send it back to the US to get this one graded. I wouldn't mind this one in a slab, so. uh but man, thank you so much, Steve, man. That is, like both these books, like this one I definitely didn't think I'd ever own. This one here, I was hoping that I was gonna own one day because you know I've been really chasing this book hard this year. Um, it just it kept escaping me with eBay bids. There was one person in Australia selling one uh, for $400 raw. And I'm like, yeah, oh, man, like that is too good. I can pretty much stop collecting comics after this, I reckon. And then there's a co oh, you're kidding! Oh, what? How? How? Oh, what the fuck, man? <laughs> oh my god, you cheeky mother! Oh, okay. So there's two more books in here. Oh, you mother! I was not expecting that. Okay, so I knew where those two books. I didn't know about these two books. <laughs> oh my god. All right. This is Hellerism issue three. First appearance of Punchline. You mother. I did a video on my comic book hit list for this year. And obviously, this was one of them. This was one of them. All right. 
So, uh, again, first uh, full appearance of Punchline. I've got her cameo, but this book just, just I couldn't get down here at the time. It just went, it was one of those spec FOMO books, so uh, I missed out on that. And then this one, I didn't see this one coming at all. This is Wonder Woman 200, The Beauty Hater. And this is a nice copy of this too. This is a classic Wonder Woman bondage cover. I've been chasing this one for a while too. Like every now and then you'll find one of these for a reasonable price, uh, but I kept missing out because it was often auctions and things like that. And I kept missing out on this. There was one time I almost bought this for a real cheap price, but the copy was just absolutely screwed. So I didn't bother, but man, You cheeky mother... Ah, oh, dude, I didn't, I didn't expect that. This is three books off my comic hit list for 2023. Just through the kindness of these guys' hearts. Man, that's unbelievable. Oh man, I wasn't expecting those other two. That's crazy. I, I, I can't believe these guys did this for me. Um, Steve, you're an absolute legend. I, I don't even know what to say. Yeah, that, thank you so much to, to you guys. Again, um, Steve doesn't have a channel, but I'll leave a link to his Instagram and I'll leave a link to Russ, G-Man, Puff, Jeff, Brian. Uh, thank you guys so much. This absolutely is mind blowing. Um, how kind you guys are. So uh, thank you guys so much. Uh, I'm gonna end this one. I'm gonna have to message Steve right now and, uh, and thank him. So yeah, make sure you guys uh, check out the links below. Uh, follow all of these guys. Uh, they've all been in the community for a while. Uh, they're all old timers. So yeah, uh, thanks so much for watching and keep it simple.